Ah, didn't stand, didn't stay stunned long enough for me. Ooh, that was close. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Welcome back to the channel everyone, back with some Generations Ultimate, and if you've seen the last video, we finally got the Faded 4 back in our midst, and we have to take them out. So, I'm going to try to knock those four beasties out in this video, and hopefully we'll be ready for whatever else comes beyond them. Make sure we ate because that is something I seem to forget all the time. And just think, later in our playthrough, we'll be fighting the deviant versions of these monsters. This looks like a very big Sune. Mm-hmm. Just trying to see if I can dip under, but I couldn't. understand when you play these older games this is what you're gonna have to deal with you're gonna have to deal with the fact that you're gonna have to give up free damage a lot of the time just based on screams now is it fair of course not but the older games were not exactly what you call fair And if you couldn't take it, basically, Monster Hunter was not for you. That's cute. <laughs> Just gotta stand in the front. Can't get any good damage on the head. See, that's what I was trying to do before. Kind of got scared. Could just stop flinching. That's BS. Oh, I got it. 
We hacking out here. Never mind. Oh, you delayed it too. They do give you windows to attack. You just have to be creative a little bit. have to be very creative with your attack. So not just going to give it to you. You got to take it. And obviously each weapon has its own approach to each monster. Like some of the things I'm doing with the dual blades, the openings I find with dual blades, you won't find with the great sword or long sword or anything like that. Hello. Oh. I'm not trying to do that. You are blasting off. <sighs> That's not how I wanted it to go. And I didn't realize there was a wall there. So this is becoming tedious. Okay, so back to this, huh? Jesus Christ, man. I can't get a meter. Oh, now you're tired. Huh. <sighs> Sometimes I miss, I miss using adept sometimes. And I hate that they always give me larger monsters when I have to face them in a different tier. You know what would be great here? spiral slice because this freaking head is a little higher than I would like it to be spiral slice would be amazing here and she's eating so I'm gonna break that up mm-hmm something that's gonna P.O. me. I don't even know what I got water blight. And of course you're just in my way because why not? Yeah, 
think I'll be alright to take her out from here. I think. Going for it. Going for it. There we go. Both claws off. Yeah, anytime you're in full bubble foam, she's gonna go for that combo. It's a double charge into a jet stream every time. Every time you're fully bubble blighted. I know before we go to Glavinus, I'm definitely gonna have to upgrade those. Upgrade those uh, water dual blades that I have. In the meantime, Guess we can go fight. Let's do that. Um, Melden Steak. All right, so Baby Girl Gameth. Not exactly baby girl, big girl. She's a big girl. No need to paintball her because she doesn't fly. She only travels through three areas. But she can shell out massive damage. Massive damage. There she go. Okay, they got a big guy. No snow. It's a lot of damage. Ah, didn't stand, didn't stay stunned long enough for me. Ooh, those close. A lot of damage. It's a lot of damage.
Mhm. That's not cool. That's definitely not cool. But guess what? If that ledge wasn't there, guess what would have happened? I wouldn't have gotten hit. I'm trying to remember what leg I was attacking. That works. Beating on if I should do that or not. I was debating on if I should have did that or not. And I shouldn't have. Um, any shinies on the ground? Don't see any. Stone was I didn't sharp I didn't sharp the mask I didn't sh sharpen it to maximum. Now tell me how did it how did did it stop me in my tracks to make sure that I got hit by the snow? Oh my god. Fucking bull fango, man. Fucking bull fango. I would love to know who was the who was design the designer for Bullfango? Who was just like, you know, it'd be good if we put these bloodthirsty, aggressive uh, warhogs in the game to slow down players and piss them off at every turn. That's a brilliant idea. As much as I complain about Bullfango, it's good that they're in the game. I mean, they piss you off, but it presents an extra challenge while fighting monsters. So, as much as I hate them, I hate them, I want to pee on them. They bring an extra element of excitement and awareness that you have to have while playing the game. Astalos is in four. And 
Verdant Hills is actually one of my favorite maps. It's probably just the nostalgia behind it. Like, it's easy to navigate, pretty much. And, you know, it's basically the very first map that you see in Monster Hunter. Hoi hoi hoi. You gotta love seeing Thunderbugs just right there. To ruin your day. Tail still has an active hitbox. <laughs> it's cute. I try to be fancy. That was my own fault. It always dies to its right when it does that. You're gonna have a bad time if you don't. Could have just absolute evaded. There we go. It's not there. I can heal here. Oh, I guess I can sharpen that. Happy guy, aren't you? Do 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 What? 
it's like I can't mount anymore. It's not. Jesus. Alrighty. I want to do a zone so I can ch be cheap and just do this. Ow. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Not even if my alarm tries to distract me. All right, so what I'm gonna do real quick is try to get some bubble flown plus, since they wanted to be stingy, because apparently I talked myself out of getting two bubble foams, and I'm gonna upgrade the water weapons I currently have so we can properly fight Glavinus. All right, so we're back and finally got the weapons upgraded. So I'll make sure we have our equipment stocked and ready. We've eaten our meal and it was nice that I went back and went to upgrade it because lo and behold, I got a water orb from Sune, from defeating Sune. So, you know, sometimes you know, doubling back and having to fight the monster again kind of kind of helps you out sometimes. Okay, you are this way. I can't eat a wellness steak because you're you cats are just you don't let up. You just want to steal and rob and drive the property value down. God. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, somebody's looking out for me. He. Oh, wrong way. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Ah, uh, zoning. Destroys momentum a lot. What is that? Ah, oh, 
I thought I almost got it. I had to have almost got it. Hmm. Oh, what the kind of chill out, bro. I forgot y'all different. Y'all are different in this game. Well, at this tier. There's no cooldowns on certain moves anymore. I guess I'll take this. This is still here. Ooh. I'm glad I, run, I hustled up and got back. How did you end up all the way over there on entry? Lordy, Lord, Lord. Mm-hmm. There you go. Indeed, indeed. Come on. All right, you're almost, you're almost ready to go. What? Tell me how. Tell me how that that move didn't land. right here. Lovely. Okay, Faded 4 is down, so we have another red chat bubble. Village chiefs here. All right, so they're just giving me encouragement. Gormagala, okay. Gormagala, it's been added to the tier. Another Glavinus. Another Sune, another Gameth. So I guess we'll have to do some cleaning up. Still have to do this, but you know, they can go screw themselves for right now. Well, we're gonna leave things here, folks. Thank you for joining me on another Generations Ultimate Experience. Faded four down. Gormagala up. That must mean we're getting close to something that is weak to dragon. I do need Gormagala parts in order to upgrade my current dragon dual blade weapons. But I've also been trying to slightly farm for ancient shards because I want to get the eternal schism. Basically dragon killers in this game because they're, they have so much dragon element that you know you get the right build you can basically just flinch a dragon to death but in between videos as always we're going to be gearing up getting stronger getting 
more ready and more crisp for the hunts to come. So, thank you for watching as always. Do the proper thing. Like, share, subscribe. Tune into the next video. And I will see you then. Peace.